We travel around to paddle stations. We probably pulled in about 3,000 head. You just all pitch in as a team. For someone in the city, it's for the lifestyle. I'm Rainy Holcomb and I'm um, from Farcombe Contracting and we're here at Humbert River Station. We've got two stock camps that we're um, currently servicing the Northern Territory with this year. We travel around to various cattle stations across the top end uh, and complete all the mustering. This morning we've just loaded some wieners that are being trucked over um, to Dashwood Yards and the boys are currently just walking some heifers that we branded yesterday. They're walking them out to their paddock and um, now we're just going to be packing up camp as we're shifting today over to VRD. Life in a mustering camp comes with all kinds of challenges, big and small, like figuring out how to pack up the new shower. So you have got instructions. Yeah, but look at the pictures. Give me the instructions. It's supposed to be a one person job because that's only one person in the diagram. <laughs> While standing with your feet at the wide base. The horses travel all right, do they? Yeah, they just travel better. Like in the paddock, they tend to have certain mates and when they travel, they um, get along a little bit better and they don't shuffle around as much and they don't have any arguments. <laughs> Even triple road trains need some help from a loader circumventing the steep dirt tracks on the station. So for us, you've got to have a good team of people. Um, you've got to take pride in what you do. And yeah, so, so this year we're running two teams. Um, uh, my husband's chosen to run one and, and myself the other, um, just purely because at this point in time, we wanted to be able to have that contact with our crew and be able to keep an eye on our business, I suppose, and make sure that yeah, our reputation is, is what we want it um, and we can maintain that sort of level. So in my crew, I've got five others here with me. We've got um, Britt. She uh, helped us for a month at the end of last year. She's a good all-rounder. She's got quite a bit of experience under her belt. Yeah, I sort of come up here straight out of school, so I didn't really do. I grew up on a dairy farm, so. I've only been mustering for Rainy for two weeks now. I've been up in the Territory for four years. So yeah, but I'm originally from Tassie. <laughs> so yeah, that was a good change of weather. <laughs> Maddie can just toil away all day. She's a really hard worker and she's very thorough and she picks up um, things um, which a lot of people miss. I'm from Queensland near Claremont and I have been mustering probably all of my life. I've sort of grown up with it. When you're in a crew everyone just gets along and you just all pitch in as a team and get to do the job and yeah the goal's the same for everyone kind of thing to get the job done. Ash is quite young but she's learning the ropes and yeah she's um, another toiler she sort of will go all day she's not afraid to have a go. This is my third year contracting 15 years in Darwin originally from Gundawindi Queensland. I think when I was a kid I wanted to be a vet but that was too high up for me. <laughs> Matt, Matt's um, quite experienced as well and um, he's a mechanic so it's really handy having him around to help me out when um, things don't go to plan with the vehicles. I've been around this area for about seven years now since I left school at 16. I grew up in the bush, family always travelled through Arnhem Land and uh, national parks and it just sort of in the blood travelling and 
my father ran the Indigenous Ranger crews there for a long time. So yeah, got to, I was lucky enough to see that when I was young. So I think that's why I appreciate it so much now. Yeah. And uh, Dylan, uh, he's he's great. He's um, always eager to please, and yeah, he's really switched on. I'm from Alpha, Queensland, and I come up here in the NT in February. I live on a property at home as well, so I've always done a bit of mustering. Probably take over the property, yeah, go home and work at the place, take it over there. It's probably the end goal sort of thing, yeah. Cooking dinner for everyone. It is. I actually quite like cooking when I have the time. I don't enjoy it quite as much um, when you're sort of short on time. But um, yeah, there's always dinner to do. I, I like to cook smokos in advance and put them in the freezer. We've only got a couple of chest freezers and fridges, so our storage space is small, but we're still cooking um, for you know large numbers of people and. Also, um, we're you know out of town for several months at a time. So I I try and do a um, a big order obviously before I leave town, and then like if we're going away for a month, um, I can nearly probably get through a month without needing to do another order. I learned my own for my cooking from Mum. She's taught me a lot, and uh, I get her out in the stuff town occasionally. They give me a hand and give me a break from the cooking. So yeah, she was out here last week and uh, it was really nice for me to have a break. <laughs> daybreak, the team is at BRD, processing some cattle that have already been brought in by the permanent station team. They're mostly male calves, or Mickey bulls, that need to be castrated, dehorned, ear-tagged and clipped, and branded along with vaccinated against disease. We've got a bit of branding on, and we'll be walking them away, we'll be tidying up from the previous muster that just went on for about two weeks now. And we've probably pulled in about 3,000 head over them couple of weeks, and yeah, so it'll be definitely be interesting. Alrighty. Which should be done by lunchtime, hopefully. The cattle station's so big that their own uh, crew of people mightn't be able to conduct all the mustering um, within the required time frame, or if people are short on staff, or some people actually just prefer to use contractors so they don't have to recruit or employ permanent staff for the whole year. We're getting a lot of work. I don't know. I hope it's based on the reputation. Um, but yeah, it's just been a really busy year. A lot of destocking going on just because we've had a drier, wet season um, to what we're used to up here. So um, people are not panicking as such, but being pretty proactive and getting in pretty early and, and wanting to shift cattle. I get pretty stressed out, um, but yeah, I don't know. It's pretty challenging. Um, obviously, obviously hard in your relationship because we don't get to see each other very often. Um, but also hard in that we've got to sort of, uh, I guess, branch out into different areas that we're not used to. Cleaning up the balls. <laughs> oh, oh. Um, so we've just been branding um, the Mickey's and we're just about to stop and have a quick smoke. Eh? So we just clean up a bit of the horn and uh, earmarks on the ground and um, yeah, we'll have a smoke, eh? How have you got on it? Ham and cheese, my favourite. I think everyone's rolling with ham and cheese. <laughs> um, what do you enjoy about the job? The work life, yeah. The cows, yeah, I love the cows. <laughs> and horses. Is it hard work? Oh, absolutely. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. no. Yes, it, it's rewarding though. Yeah. That's why I like it. I don't really have any big plans, but I do enjoy this job. Yeah. I don't know what's next in mind. <laughs> oh, I just like the simplicity of it all. Like you can go to work and you're already home and you're sort of, yeah, you're always on the road, get to meet new, see new places and travel around Australia. And that's been a really good way to do it. I've, um, yeah, definitely enjoy it and I'll definitely keep on doing it, I think. I actually look at Rainy as quite a role model. She's a bit of an inspiration, really. She can run a crew and then she can come back and cook dinner and she's the best of both, really. You don't see too many women that can do that. And um, I think it shows great, um, you know, like resilience for rural women and that's she's such a great role model for that, yeah. For someone in the city looking at something like this, it's for the lifestyle. You don't sort of come here to earn big money, but if you want to work hard and learn some incredible skills and meet great people, then yeah, I'd give it a go. Do we look like the Beverly Hillbillies? Ma, ah, get on the roof! <laughs> Can we sit on the back? Dreaming of a lazy bed. You whip it. <laughs> 